Hey, what's up? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Cat 5V patch cable using the 568B color code. Now, the items we're going to use today, uh, we're going to use a pair of electrician snips. Let's go ahead and make sure we cut the cable, and some mod plugs, one for each end, um, a crimp tool to crimp our RJ45 plug, some Cat 5V cable. And also, uh, we have a tester here that we're going to pop the plugs in to make sure that we have all the pairs terminated correctly. Okay, so now we got to cut our cable, but before we do that, this is a solid cable. You're going to want to use solid mod plugs. If you're using a stranded cable, you're going to want to use stranded plugs. There is a difference from one to the other. It's kind of a long story. Check out our YouTube channel for the difference between one to the other. In the meantime, let's go ahead and cut a piece of this cable off. Let's get to terminating here. That's it. Okay. So you're going to want to strip off, let's say, a small piece of the jacket. There we go. Now, one of the things you might want to do is, that comes in handy if you don't do this often, is you're going to want to strip back a piece of the, some of the pull string and, um, cut off this jacket right here. Now, you're not going to want to, we're going to want to get rid of this part of the cable because you might have nicked it a little bit and that might cause you an issue when you, after you terminate the plugs. Uh, some of the pins, the conductor of the copper might get a little, little, little uh, sheared a little bit and that might cause you an issue. So we're going to use some of the newer uh, cable up here which hasn't been uh, nicked possibly by the snips and we're going to want to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and use maybe about an inch and a half of this cable here. So we're going to strip off the pairs that are no good. We're not going to use those. Now, the most important thing is you're going to want to use the 568B color code. And this is what the color code looks like. Okay, so don't forget our mod plug, pin number one is on the very left side. Uh, that is where you're going to start off with the orange white. And of course, you got pin number eight on the other end, which is the brown pair. Now, let's go ahead and separate this cable here. Um, the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and separate your orange on one side and then your brown. The blue stays in the center, and you can separate these however way you want to. I know everybody's got their own technique, so I'm just going to separate the conductors and try to line them up properly. We've got the blue pair right there. Now let's go ahead and do the green. Now if you do a lot of these patch cables, you might want to uh, maybe consider buying uh, some patch cords. They're fairly inexpensive, not too bad, uh, but I know sometimes you're in a jam on a weekend and you got to do what you got to do. So. You got your blue pair done, you got your green pair, now you just got to do your orange pair here. And then let's do the brown. Okay. Now that you got them kind of separated where they need to go, you kind of just have to squish them together and play with it for a little bit. Maybe pinch it on the bottom to where uh, the cables are going to stay where they need to be. Bring them in close and uh, maybe eyeball it. Make sure that the cables are staying where they need to be. There we go. We've got to move this green pair over here. and um, This is going to take a little bit of time. This is for your first time doing it, but you, you can get it down. You can do it. It's not too hard. So there we go. It looks like all the conductors are where they need to be. And uh, our next step is that we're going to have to trim it down a little bit because obviously it looks like we've got too much cable here longer than what the mod plug is. So let's cut it down a bit. There we go. And then, um, shoot, let's go ahead and slide the mod plug into it. Now one of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to push push the conductors up on the inside of the plug. This will help them go in straighter. And you might want to keep an eye on 
these conductors. Sometimes they'll move around when you first put them in there. Just try to make sure they're going uh, where they need to be. Okay. Okay, I'm taking another look. You can see through the mod plug and it looks like all the cables are going in where they need to be. Now, I'm pushing the cable, the jacket that is. Now, when you put the mod plug in, the side view here, this is where it's going to crimp on and the gold pins, when you crimp them with your crimp tool, they're also going to, because this is a solid plug and a solid conductor, the pins in there are split so they're going to wrap around the conductor when you crimp it. Now, let's go ahead and crimp it. Now, this is our crimp tool. You can purchase all this stuff on our web store, discountlowvoltage.com, and you're going to want to go ahead and pop in your mod plug. And you're going to want to press in, press the cable in. This kind of locks in there, press it in, so that way all your conductors are where they need to be, and give it a squeeze. And that'll do it. Let's do the other side. Okay, don't forget. On the other side of the cable, you got pin number one. That's where on the left side of the where the pins are facing you. Pin number one is the orange pair where that's going to start. Pin number eight on the other side is where the brown pair is going to be. And you need to make sure it's 568B wiring. Now, let's go ahead and push up on the plug again. Make sure that the cables are going in properly. And uh, when it's when you first feel it going in, you can see through it. Make sure that you might want to double check, take a glance at it. Make sure all the conductors are sliding in right where they need to be. And go ahead and push it in all the way. And you can tell if it's in there properly. You can, you can see the conductor underneath the gold pen. Uh, make sure that the end of the jacket is past this little termination strip here. And then even on the front of the mod plug, on the very bottom, it's really hard to tell, but the conductors will be pressing up against the uh, plug itself. So let's go ahead and crimp it once again. Make sure to push the cable in. There we go. Now that we got both ends terminated, 568B, let's go ahead and put it on the tester, make sure we're good to go. All right, so now that we got our patch cable terminated on both ends, uh, let's go ahead and plug it in this little tester. Just kind of test the pairs to make sure that you uh, pinned it out to 568B correctly. It's got these little green lights. Now we do sell a lot of different testers on our websites. Uh, from as low as, I don't know, there's a few on there from under a hundred bucks up to a couple thousand free contractors. Now we're going to go ahead and plug the patch cable in. It's turned on. And, uh, okay, as you can tell, we're getting a, a green signal from the transmitter to receiver for our 568B pinout. We're good to go. Go ahead and plug it into whatever it is you're doing, game consoles, uh, networking, I, I don't know, whatever it is you're you're doing. Questions, call us 888-797-3697.